Well, Gerald, uh, congratulations on making Conference Player of the Week this week. Uh, you had a pretty good night the other night defensively. Uh, game kind of got off to a little bit of a rough start. We spotted them 21 points. Uh, you know, how uh, they ran those trick plays on us there. Um, what was that like in the first quarter? Did y'all kind of get a point where, as, as a defense, y'all were just kind of maybe on your heels a little bit, looking for yeah, them to well, run some more tricks? We practiced all week on it, like all the trick plays. They told us they was going to run them. And um, as corners, we were supposed to lock on, you know what I'm saying? But got our, got our eyes in the backfield, what Coach tells us not always to do. And he told us if we do it, we're going to have to pay for it. So, you know, after, after a couple of times, we had to just make sure we stay on our man and do what we're supposed to do. Everybody's supposed to play what they play. And after that, we was going to be all right. Okay. I thought a key point in the game was when you picked that pass off on the fake field goal attempt. Mm -hmm. uh, it, everything kind of seemed to turn our way at that point. That's kind of got our momentum going. What? Tell, take us through that play, what you saw from the line of scrimmage and how you went about making the pick and all, and, and to the end of that play. Well, we knew they was going to probably try to do something, you know, out of the ordinary. So, like, when the uh, end came off, I was supposed to have the deep half, and I thought I had the slot. So I just seen somebody run past me. I'm just thinking I got to go get them. So when I run back, just so happened he threw a bad ball. So I, when I, once I got it, I had to try to make up for it. Okay, let's talk about the second interception, which pretty much iced the game. I mean, it gave us that full touchdown lead, and it was a big play in the game. What did you see on that and then that, that run back you had taking it uh, all the way to the end zone? Well, as soon as he threw it, I seen how far he threw the ball. It was an overthrow, so I was I just ran it down. I was like, I know I can go get underneath and catch it, so I went to go catch it. And we were still down, so I was like, once I got it, I'd be loving the ball in my head anyway. So once I got it, I was like, I'm going to score this time for sure. I got to score. All right. Uh, you're a senior on this team, obviously your fourth year, uh, you know, our biggest come from behind win or matched it actually in the program's history. You know, as a senior with your experience, what kind of win like that you hope maybe take us forward on here in this next few weeks as we get deeper into conference? Yeah, like, because after the game we all talk, you know, you know, but we was, we was trying to say that we can't give people, you know, 21 lead and try to chase them, you know. Next time we need to play, like our last game, we played a whole half, the second half. This game we played three quarters. We just like we understand that if we play our four quarters like that, then we got us a good team.